Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for April 27, 2014. Uh, got a good bit to show you this week. Uh, a lot of yard sales over the weekend. Um, and uh, actually, I uh, thought I'd have a little bit more to show you. Uh, but it's still still soon in the season, still early. Um, but got some good stuff to show you. Uh, nothing too over the top, but uh, some good solid finds. Let me show you. Start off, got a uh, brand new in a box, <clears throat> uh, 20 quart stainless steel uh, turkey cooker, never been used, 20 bucks. Uh, what makes this good is I don't have to worry about packing it, it's already packed. And brand new in a box, uh, should be easy to sell, and uh, cooks essentials. Then look it up, uh, that's probably a $50 uh, roaster right there. Uh, car emblems, buck a piece. Uh, got some scratches on them, but uh, um, can't go wrong for a dollar a piece. One of my favorites of the week uh, of my finds. Check out this hanging light. Uh, Fifteen bucks. It's got the uh, little finial and uh, stuff that goes uh, here. Really neat old old lamp uh, ceiling light. Uh, probably I'm thinking 150 something like that. A uh, set of wooden bowls. Check it out. These things are ancient. Yeah, made in Hong Kong, but still a uh, whole salad set. Got the uh, fork and. Uh, Spoon, big bowls, little bowls. Uh, that was uh, five bucks. Uh, trash can. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, I, I liked it. Old Victorian uh, trash can. Been around a long time. Really well made. Uh, marked. Uh, I can't make it out. July 1923. Well, not Victorian. Neat that they put the date on it. Uh, still, uh, close to 100 years old. And uh, neat looking. That was uh, 15 paid for that. Uh, it's got a price of $32. I paid $2. Uh, Dr. Seuss Grinch Department 56. And for four dollars, a uh, Mr. Christmas um, merry-go-round. Um, not sure what I can get for those. Uh, magic bullet, still in the original box. Looks like it's never been used. Twenty-five bucks, but uh, these are pretty expensive in the stores. So once again, simple to pack. Um, close it up, tape it up, put a label on it. Uh, these are specialized tools. It's uh, for uh, putting, uh, crimping the ends of uh, cable connections, I think. Uh, some really, really big ones here. Uh, end up paying uh, $40 for all of them, but I know for some of these, brand new, like that alone can sell for like 60 bucks. So, uh, not even sure what to call them, but uh, have to do a little research, uh, look the model numbers up. Got uh, 23 GI Joes for five bucks. Um, I'll put them all in one lot and sell them that way. Did really good with the last GI Joes I had, and uh, we'll see how they do. They do. Uh, picked up a uh, helmet liner. Uh, Got some nice age on it. It's uh, held together with the uh, shoestring in the top here, which shows it's got some age. Uh, looks like anti aircraft. Uh, got this off of eBay actually. Uh, that was, I forget right now, I'm thinking right around 15 or so. Um, love the military stuff. A whole bunch of uh, patches. 
uh, that was uh, these actually came off of eBay a whole bunch of beer ones and uh, some other ones here that's a nice one uh, these were like a, uh, a buck a uh, pack a Star Wars pin there there's a uh, whole thing of wooden nickels um, so uh, these have already been listed actually we put them on for like 10 bucks a piece a uh, Fenton uh, vase uh, five bucks uh, this is pretty neat you normally see the uh, Mac dogs for the Mac trucks well this is a husky um, don't know my hood ornaments that well so don't know if this is a factory piece or if this is an aftermarket piece that somebody could put um, once again be easy to find wish it was in a little better shape uh, that was 15 a couple Mario games got them for 250 a piece uh, Mario Power Tennis for the Wii oh, and a uh, Army Rescue uh, for the Wii uh, this is a weird guy haven't looked him up uh, haven't looked up any of this stuff really um, looks like a bartender uh, made by the Alexander Backer Company and maybe that's what the bartender looks like when you start and that's what he looks like after you've had a few no idea um, but uh, could be a good piece you never know in something like that baby thermo dress it's 10 it's in the original box I think somebody paid 29 cents but uh, take a look here at around 85 it says just put them in a diaper 80 uh, have them in a diaper and undershirt and down here at 55 they want mittens and booties uh, at 45 they want them in a snowsuit I think it's a little off but uh, and from 0 to, to 25 just keep them in the house <laughs> so interesting piece never been used and I like that it's 10 that was 5 bucks a couple old uh, uh, picture frames uh, nice uh, metal um, they were uh, 10 for the pair this guy is a uh, matchbox holder put the box of matches back here you can see he's got some nice wear on the metal here and here where, where somebody's been reaching in there for many years uh, put, picking out uh, matches and it is marked and What is that? Tespian? Uh, some kind of foreign mark. Can't make it out. Or I should say I can't read it. Um, interesting piece. Paid 10 for that. Uh, three buttons. Paid $5 for the lot. Uh, Detroit Lions. Cleveland Indians. And... Uh, Campanella pen uh, still with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers um, that was uh, well like I said five for the three not sure what they'll bring uh, it's a neat old Detroit Lion uh, pen pen back probably all from around the same uh, time period uh, like buying anything mobile oil uh, with the uh, Pegasus on it uh, two bucks for that Couple like Candy and Johnson, pretty neat. Um, you know, from uh, what is that, '62? Um, that was uh, 15. I paid for that. Just never seen one before. Nice hall teapot, really good condition. Nowhere to the gold, no chips, cracks. That was 10. Uh, seems like every week I have a uh, bottle opener and this is a uh, bottle opener and nutcracker solid brass and I uh, like the uh, uh, bird detail at the top 
Uh, that was uh, five bucks. Check out this piece. Uh, another one of my favorites. Um, let me move this whole teapot out. And uh, looks like well, somebody first of all, somebody did a horrible painting job on it, painting it silver up around here. You can see they splattered silver paint up, and it has been rewired. This is all new up here. The wire, this should have had a fabric wire, fabric cover cord. Um, what's really neat, check out the feet. It's been drilled and countersunk uh, for uh, to be screwed down. Super heavy piece. Um, definitely got some age on it. Check out the lion head. That is just cool. Really like this. Uh, the three figures, I'm guessing, is the three muse. Um, was it uh, literature, uh, song, and dance? Um, just a really cool piece. Uh, not sure what it'll bring. Had to pay $60 for it. If you look over here, I believe... This hole is so large here where they have this cord out. I, they should have brought the cord out under the bottom. It probably originally did come out the bottom. And I think there was a, a toggle switch here. We could reach over and uh, toggle it off or on. Um, can't find any marks on it, but uh, just really nice. I think the green might be original, but uh, could not pass that up. Uh, beer tap handles have been pretty good for me. I uh, got these three for uh, 20 bucks. Uh, the Bud Light alone will probably bring about 30. Um, so probably uh, might be about $80 in uh, beer taps right there. Uh, wife got this for herself, a uh, pineapple uh, or what do you call it, candy tray, some a uh, little uh, little truck here that was uh, five bucks. Another one, uh, the Winross uh, for L and H, uh, just a uh, local company thing, uh, five bucks a piece. This is really well done. Uh, paid ten for this bicentennial, really well made. It's a uh, candle holder, I guess you would call it. Candle holder and bank combination. Uh, unusual piece, but really well done. Uh, Hess trucks. Uh, normally do not buy Hess trucks. Uh, there's just so many of them, however. I did make an exception with these because these are the older ones. and I haven't looked them up. I think they are from the late 70s, early 80s, uh, before they just started m really mass producing these things. Still in the original box, and uh, I have to check, but I got them for $12 a piece, so I think I'll do okay with those. Uh, got a prayer horse. This is a cigar. Uh, still in the original box. Uh, that was eight. Also with the racing theme, a pair of uh, Preakness bookends. And I've never seen these before. Made by uh, Wilton. And uh, 110th, I think that that's from the 1980s. have to look and narrow it down a little bit more. But uh, I'm thinking 100 bucks on those. Uh, check out the cane. This thing is super heavy. Um, this whole bottom half is uh, some kind of uh, bronze, I think. Uh, kind of very unusual. Um, got a secret compartment up here in the handle. Um, pretty neat. You can see it's like... I don't know if you would call that a plaster. 
that they used uh, up near the tip here, but uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's almost like a, uh, a scepter, a uh, king's scepter. But uh, I know walking sticks canes are very collectible. Uh, paid 45 for that, but I just didn't want to pass it up. Got it in the store already, and uh, we put 300 on there. Uh, we'll see what kind of uh, action it gets. Here's something uh, I don't get very often. It's uh, Texas ware. It's uh, just like a just a plastic bowl from like the 50s, 60s. You can see Texas ware. Pretty neat stuff. Comes in all different sizes. Uh, this is a large uh, mixing bowl. Uh, got this for seven, and it'll probably bring about uh, 20, 25. Unless it's a rare color, then maybe a little more. Uh, with the uh, vintage lighting, this is a neat clamp down table display lamp. It telescopes out. Very heavy, uh, bronze and copper, brass. Uh, 30 bucks I paid for that, but uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's a hundred dollar light. Uh, Mount Rushmore souvenir that was two bucks. Uh, child's dinner tray, compartment tray. Got a cowboy theme going on. Uh, definitely, I would say from the 50s. Um, really unusual. I mean, how many of these things survived? You can see there's been a lot of meals that's uh, been ate on this plate. Uh, New York World's Fair uh, cars pay two dollars piece for these. Um, not New York, York Fair. Um, just from up in Pennsylvania. Uh, hopefully, uh, people uh, on eBay will want these things. Uh, two dollars a piece was worth a shot. Uh, these things. I've seen these at the flea market for a while. I've been passing over them, thinking who's going to want these things. Then I, I got them all uh, for a um, dollar a piece. And uh, you can see there's six of them there. Yeah, there's got to be somebody out there that's uh, that needs a stock for a black powder gun. Um, you know, I'm thinking ten bucks a piece. Uh, get ten times my money uh, I think it's very possible maybe a little more uh, saw these clothes they're work clothes and WRAMC is Walter Reed Army Medical Center uh, these are work clothes from there and I uh, had an invoice I really wasn't going to pay much attention then I looked at the invoice person paid two hundred and forty dollars for this box of clothes and this box of clothes I got both boxes for ten bucks um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell them I'm gonna list them for half of what the what they paid um, hopefully turn that uh, ten bucks into uh, uh, 120 last item of the day arrow bed still in the original package uh, person bought this in case they had company they never did it was never been used uh, these are expensive uh, blow-up beds um, haven't looked it up I paid uh, $40 for that but I seem to remember these things going for around 200 uh, might be wrong on that but uh, don't have to worry about anything breaking there uh, so there we go a uh, little bit of everything and uh, we'll get this stuff on the, the store, uh, Terminal 99 on the eBay store. Uh, keep an eye on that. And until next time, it's World Yard Sales Survivalist. And we'll talk again soon.